Uncle Sam FM here. I am back with my Iron Manager series. And, you know, I, I know the name is dumb, right? I know it's ridiculous, but you gotta have a cool name, right? And maybe it's not cool, but whatever. Um, anyway, uh, I've gone through the preseason in my first season with Nashville SC, uh, or Tony Stark has. Just a real quick look at the results. They were all well. We did pretty well. Um, ran through all the friendlies. Uh, Early on, there were some issues as the team got adapted, but uh, you know, we, 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 the only negative result we had was this loss in the ATX Pro Challenge, which is an exhibition. It's an exhibition friendly kind of tournament. It's a four team one off. <clears throat> in uh, first round, the semifinal, we played Atlanta United, which is an MLS team, and I am Nashville SC right now. But they're not in MLS yet, although they will join MLS in the next season, and uh, the loss was really it was kind of it was it, it was a tough pill to swallow because we really sort of dominated the game now you know nash uh, atlanta united is one of the top teams in mls they won mls cup in 2017 i think um so they're a top-notch mls team one of the best teams in mls i think it was 2018 actually either way um so th th they're very good they play a possession style like we do which that's our you know style of play we want the ball, we want to keep the ball, and, you know, pep style or whatever. Well, we controlled possession. If, you know, 57% is a little lower. Well, it's a lot lower than we like to have. We, we go for the mid-60s. Um, and so, obviously, you know, that's a little lower than usual. But against Atlanta United, who is, by any measurable, uh, measurable figure, data, is better than us. And so we dominated possession. You look at the shots. We had 20. We had nine on target to their three, but we gave up a goal in the 114th minute. And that's how it goes, right? You got to finish your chances. And so uh, Atlanta United finished one of their three. We did not finish any of our 20. Uh, and so we lost. And we had to go to the consolation game while they went to the final. I don't even know who won the final. Let's see. Oh, Mon yeah, so Atlanta United lost in the championship 2-1 to one to Montreal. We went to the uh, third place playoff, and we we had we took the lead in the third minute. And another game we control. We're playing Austin Bold, which is another team in the USL Championship, which is the league we'll start play in. So they are kind of a league whatever rival. So we beat um, we we took the lead early. Then we had a guy sent off. Then they equalized, but we fought back, won it in extra time. So we had two extra time matches in that tournament. Uh, finished third, you know, not great, but. All the other preseason results were good. You did have this one draw against uh, Greenville, but again, we controlled play, uh, outscored them, or outshot them 17 to two. We had 78% possession, so another game where we probably should have won, uh, and that was our second team anyway. So um, yeah, so good preseason. Now, one thing that we've kind of ran into here as we approach the regular season is injuries. We are getting absolutely pummeled with injuries right now. Um, I have four, no, three starters, right? M M Madronda would be a starter, but we knew he was injured. He's out for the, there's no realistic way he'll be back. Right? I didn't even bother registering him, so he won't play for us this season. <clears throat> but Baji is one of my starting front three. Beckles, or Bekelis, I don't know how to pronounce that. He's my right back, my starting right wing back. He's out. Mukhtar had just recovered from a long-term injury. He, had been, he was injured for like four or five weeks. He recovers. I get him fit, and he gets another four-week injury, so he's out. So that means in this first game against Louisville, I'm having to start uh, a player who's nowhere near fit, Derek Jones. <clears throat> uh, my plan is I'll play him a half um, and then bring in Anunga. Um, the thinking there is that Jones has some – we won't go into it. I'm not going to bore you with all kinds of whatever, looking at the attributes, but Jones is a little bit better option right now at the number six. No, the number eight. <clears throat> so, um, so I'm starting Jones. I'll bring in Anunga probably at halftime, right? Maybe, maybe we'll see. Um, Jones isn't fit, so I, part of this is I'm trying to get him fit. Now, <clears throat> obviously, we want to win the game. We're going to try and win this game. Uh, oh, another injury issue is Leal or Leal. I don't know how to pronounce that either. <clears throat> but he had, he's struggled through the preseason with an injury. I'm just about got him fit. He's right now 86% condition. Um, his fitness is 84, match sharpness, whatever you want to call it. 
So he's close, not quite there yet. So I, I, he's starting on the bench. He'll come in at some point and replace Alan Wynn. Alan Wynn, who it's not bad. He's got a decent free kick. Um, and so, so I'm going in with kind of a plan. Realistically, this season, obviously, hey, we want to win. We want to win the league. We want to win all that stuff. But I'm also I'm trying to get my team ready to play in MLS next year. So, um, so you know, my thinking is, to be honest, my thinking here is more long term than it is short term. Um, like I said, do want to win this game, but I'm, I'm I'm thinking even more about the whole season just in this one game. Now, Louisville is one of the best teams that we're going to play in USL in the USL Championship Division. I fully expect that if we're going to win the Eastern Conference, we're going to have to beat them at some point in the playoffs. So. Um, so you know we're we're starting we're starting with our probably our, one of our, our biggest games uh, to begin the season. Uh, I really don't know. I guess we can go look at Louisville. Um, they're managed by Hackworth. I think we've talked about this before. Yeah, we did talk about this a little bit. Hackworth was a, a he coached in the U.S. Um, um, setup, right? The youth team setup. He also managed in MLS before the Philadelphia Union. So he's. Uh, as far as American soccer goes, he is he is one of the better managers. Um, I wouldn't put him up in the upper echelon, right, with like the Crisis or the Bruce Arenas, but he's you know maybe a level below that. Um, their team, you know, you look at their team, and my scouts aren't really impressed, but they've got some dangerous players like Devin Williams. You can't see it, but anybody with a determination between fifteen and twenty in this league is going to be difficult. Um, my scouts have really not done a very good job get. Uh, uh, giving me an idea of what I'm up against here. But I, I know that Louisville is a good team. Um, so, so with all that said, you know what? Let's just dive right in. Let's do the live comp, see how this thing goes. Uh, yeah. Mm, submit team. Let's see what their formation is before I pick what I'm going to do. Uh, they're coming with the 4 2 3 So I'm going to leave my formation the same. I'm going to tell the guys, hey, just go relax, play your natural game. Let's see how this thing goes. I have faith. Okay. Now, I've, I have, like, this template for opposition instructions, but one thing that kind of irritates me, you can't set it to where they um, automatically start with the position opposition instructions, right? It wants you to it defaults to the player and I want it to default to the position but I, I if you guys when you guys know how to do it put it in the comments I've, I don't know how um, so he wants me to mark tightly I'm not gonna mark the AMC tightly he always wants me to mark the AMC tightly I, I have bad experience with that um, so I'm gonna not um, but I do have kind of a system like I, I do I press the back four and the goalkeeper tight you know automatically I tight mark the striker I want I want him being marked and then I've got um, a way I, I mark, I show players under their feet. Um, wingers, I try to push them out wide, get them further from the goal, and then uh, mid uh, wide midfield players and like MR ML, right back, left back, wing back. I, I, the, I, the other rest of the wide players, I try to force into the middle where I have play people, right where I have my defense. Um, so that's my kind of, that's really just the basic template I, I use on that. All right, so uh, I am home, so I'm not going to touch any of the uh, any of these settings right now. I'm going to leave it as is. We'll see kind of maybe how things go. They're asking me about Derek Jones. He's good to go, right? I'll just tell him that's kind of a lie, but whatever. Um, I always tell her this. Like I, I don't know how if this upsets. The injured player but i always say hey i've got fantastic depth right and my hope is that the guys that i'm putting on the field are gonna respond well to that so here we go they get the kickoff i'm gonna immediately tell my guys to get creative because i am worried about scoring goals um with mukhtar out and leal on the bench i just i you know dunlot dunlot is gonna is a big prospect he's a good prospect but he's young you never know how young players are going to react when you get them on the field. So, um, you know, if nothing else, they're often inconsistent. So I'd rather have Leal out there so that I can put uh, a cam up front. Oh, and Win scores right away. Boom. Win who Win wants a starting spot. Right? He was going to be in the second eleven, 
But he's saying, you know what, Coach Stark? Put me on the field. This is what I can do. He, he skint his defender and then just absolutely plastered that ball to the back of the net. And so now we're up one nothing. All right. We'll see how Louisville responds. Now we has a free kick. He does have a good free kick. Oh, and we get a penalty, right? It looks like a penalty. And there's no VAR in USL Championship. Dax McCarty makes it two. So we've got a 2-0 lead inside of 15 minutes. This is, a, this is the ideal way to start this game. First game of the season against what's going to be our biggest competition in the league this year. Um, but you know what? 2-0 lead is also kind of dangerous. All right, and here we go. Already going the other way. Oh, hop and not. Puts a ball into the side netting. Willis to Anibaba. Anibaba might need to drop the uh, play out of the back instruction because it looks like they are pressing me a little bit. Oh, and no, that's a yellow on them. Okay, so nothing to worry about. Oh, there we go. For Godoy. Godoy is a yellow card machine. He, he, he had, he probably got more yellows than any other player in the preseason. The guys that get creative again probably shouldn't do that, but and oh boy, oh Willis, with his hands on that. Yeah, they are pressing me. So, well, you know what? I'm doing all right. I wish I had said demand more. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go back. I think I can still can't. Yeah, I'm gonna cancel that, and I'm gonna say I'm gonna demand more. Because I hope is my understanding of that shout is it tells the defense that they need to do a little better oh and a shot off the post and the defender from louisville clears it out back so we have a corner mccarty puts it in the box and looks like it's headed away and we try to restart our build here love it a cam can't bring it down see i wish i had a cam in the middle of the field probably really wouldn't make a difference but you know i want him in the middle he's on the left and then he does that little mistake so of course i'm gonna react all right, so, um, you know, they got six shots on, but we know Louisville's good. Um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna overreact and make some kind of change because we at the end we were, um, we were doing all right. I do want to look one thing real quick. How many of their shots were long shots? Only one long shot. That means they're getting the ball into our um, area, so that is a bit of a concern. Uh, we'll go to pep talk, tell the guys, happy with how you're doing. And then I'm going to bring in Anunga for Derek Jones. Tell him the classic, hey, I have faith in you. And, hmm, I don't know, I'm tempted. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to go balanced. This is, this is the kind of thing that will cost you games. <laughs> right, so I'm going to go balanced. Uh, I'm going to tell him to be more expressive and pass into space. Right, so we'll see if, if bringing my guys back opens up some space back there. Um, that's that's one of the things that I honestly I've had mixed success with it. Right? Sometimes it seems to work, sometimes it doesn't. Although they are, they those look like they've increased their mentality. So lowering mine might have been the way to go. <clears throat> and here we have a highlight in their third. Miller crosses it in a cam, makes it three. Boom! I'm a genius. <laughs> I'm not a genius. Most of my tactical um, tactical changes are, we'll call them educated guesses. Um, and But Miller crosses to a cam who heads it in, and a cam is saying, why do you want me in the middle, right? Here's where you really need me. So I'll go ahead and praise the guys. When you get a 3 nothing lead, what can you do? An Anunga shot off the post or save one of those, but they are fired up by that feedback. Probably bring in Leal at about the hour mark. I still have one sub. Uh oh, here they come. Oh, oh, that was just a, you know what? That's a bullet. I'm not going to worry about that just yet. That's a good shot. And the truth is, Willis is not that good of a goalkeeper. <clears throat> I mean, it's one thing if, if they give a clever build up, but just kind of a long shot like that. I mean, it, I'm not going to, I'm not going to worry too much right now. Not yet. I will do the demand more shout. Tell them guys to try and sort out things in the back. And it, uh oh, now they have another highlight in my area. Somebody, I said you can't just stand there and watch them shoot. 
Okay. Uh, I am going to go ahead and bring in Leal. Again, this is about fitness. Oh, and I've got another yellow card. So my guys are just, we're collecting yellows. I'm going to take Win out. Um, and i got to tell these guys to ease off tackles. shot goes wide so they've 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 gone cautious I'm gonna I'm gonna go positive and remove I'm not gonna put the play on out of defense back on but I'm gonna remove those just to try and build things up a little bit Ooh, Ani Baba sends that long for Dunlotti Dunlotti makes it four. Oh, I was I was worried about this this scoring goals in this game but Ani Baba says, get out of here. Get that bleep out of here. And Don Lottie says, I'll take that. And I know just where to put it. And it's 4-1. to one. We've still got 25 minutes left. Very unlikely to give up three goals in 25 minutes. But And Louisville is gone. I'm going to go balanced. I'm not going to go expressive and pass it a space just yet. Well, I really don't need to. I don't need to create any attack. I've got a 4-1 lead. I'm just going to kind of sit. Oh, you got to move the ball faster than that. Anibaba. Anibaba's having himself a little game here. He just uh, won that ball right there. Anibaba defending well. Now we need to get this ball back, guys. Come on. Oh, they've got two. Hopping knot. Okay. But you know what? I think it was before. Yeah, they're just going from one side of the pitch to the other here. All right. So I'm going to, oh, man. <laughs> Let's go, guys. Pick it up. Okay, going about to the 75th. Cross it in the box. Come on, Godoy. And then get a lead out to Miller, whose shot is wide. Eh, he's a wing back. He's not going to be much of a finisher. So I need to bring in a defender. I'm going to bring in uh, Tribbett to play back here at the 6th. And let's remove his ease off tackles. And they're still coming at us. This is ridiculous. Okay. Whoo. Okay. All right, we're about 10 minutes to go. And they're on a counter on a throw in. And we block that. It was either a cross or a shot. Love it now. Tribit to McCarty. To Nunga, who gets it out to Liao. Liao attacks in the box, and that was just a poor shot. He's not fit. We'll blame it on that. Certainly isn't tactics, right? Oh, that was Miller. You suck. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Look at that. We've given up 18 shots. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to watch this afterward um, just to try and get out of this thing. I've, I, I set my... Um, I have presets to kind of... Oh, wait. Well, it didn't look like it changed anything. Yeah, it did. Okay. Just making sure that it made the changes I wanted. No, that guy had to be offside. Yeah, they called it. Now, why does it do that? <laughs> I gotta work on mine. I'm so my one preset. Ooh, ooh, Don Lottie almost with the finish there. <laughs> the preset I meant I meant for my preset to be set to defensive, but for some reason it was on positive. So I'll have to fix that after the match. Uh, hey, can you guys remind me to do that? Can you remind me to fix mine? <laughs> yeah, I know you're not really here. And probably only like six people will see this anyway. Uh, cross, okay. Yeah, not super happy with the win, but I'll take it. Um, Louisville peppered our goal 
we 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 just we finished better. Um, so we've I've got to look at some stuff. I mean, you look at stats: seventy percent possession, um, eighteen shots, right? Eight on target. Uh, we had two clear cut, two half chances. They only had one half chance. So and I know FM is not perfect in calculating that, but just just like whatever the looking at the first the first glance at the stats uh, are not too bad. Uh, eighty three percent is a little low for my defense. I prefer them to be around eighty five between eighty five and ninety, but that's not so low where it, it feels like that's what caused the problem. Um, let's look at the see if it's got the defending stats here. Um, Tackling aren't too bad. Is isn't too bad. Oh, I'm looking at Louisville. How do I how do I look at where's the why am I looking at the Louisville stat? Nashville stats. Duh. Okay, so defensively, um McCam, see he, he only tried for you know, two tackles, so um okay. These are these are non defending stats. Well, I'll have to look at this after the match. It's something something went wrong here where we let them have eighteen percent or eighteen shots on target. That's that's way above our norm. And I you know, I know Louisville's one of the better teams that we're gonna play, but they're not that good. So anyway, uh, good win for Tony Stark to begin his career as the Nashville SC manager. Uh, just a real quick look. We'll take a quick, brief look at the um, standings in the USL Championship. Yay! <laughs> First with three points, uh, tied with Loudoun United, or yeah, Loudoun United. SKC two is up there with us. St. Louis. Um, so great way to start the year. Still some things to build on. Got to figure out what in the world happened that we gave up that many chances. Hopefully, it's it's that I my you know these guys that are hurt. Right? I do have. Alan Wynn on the field is not super great, and I don't know. I'll look at it. Um, next next um, live com, I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, maybe do one by the middle of the season, right? And maybe I'll just wait till the up Open Cup match, right? We'll join the Open Cup in the second round. The board wants me to get to the round of 16 there. I, that's going to be a big ask, but we'll... Um, we're going to have to gear our team to try and make that happen so I don't get sacked before we get to MLS. So that'll be the uh, – that'll probably be our, our, our next live comp. Just to, I, I tell you what, we'll take a real quick look at what I'm doing scouting-wise uh, and let that be how we close it out. So I've sent – obviously I have um, somebody – I have Champ, my chief scout. He's, look, he's checking out my next opposition. My data analyst is analyzing the next opposition. Uh, my scouts, I've got one scouting U.S. soccer – or the NCAA soccer, although I'm probably going to drop that. That's really kind of a test. I wanted to see if I can scout college players. In past versions of FM, you can't. And I hadn't actually tried it yet in this version because you couldn't in old versions. And it's looking like he's not he's not getting any reports. But I did just recently put him out there. So, uh, And then I've got somebody going to Western Africa. I've heard good things about scouting Western Africa. Obviously Brazil, right? I've sent my best scout to Brazil to find some players kind of in our budget and obviously you know everybody knows that's where you can get quality players especially well that val um, value players uh especially for a you know mls team uh, i'm not sure how it is the rest of the world but brazil if you can get some of the mid to lower level players they can contribute so so i'm sending guys there i'm sending scout there uh middle east is another area that i've heard kind of good things about if you can find some good young players there um, I'm hoping that I can find somebody MLS level. That's one where I'm kind of playing it by ear. We'll see how it goes. And if, if that doesn't work out, I'm probably going to pull him and send him to East Asia um, where I know I can find some Korean, Japanese, Chinese players that will uh, be MLS quality. All right. So uh, if you have any questions, throw them in the chat. This is Uncle Sam FM, and I will see you guys next time on Iron Manager.